In this episode of Geocaching Adventures, we're going to bring you with us to Iceland. We'll take you from Keflavik to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the Gunnivar Crater Mud Pool, Reykjavik, and the world-famous Blue Lagoon. No, not the one with Brook Shields. So, grab yourself some Brennevin and join us for another fun episode of Land Monkeys Geocaching Adventures. Our adventure really started once we touched down at Keflavik. Hey guys, welcome to Iceland. We are gonna find our very first geocache here in Iceland. Let's check it out. What a cool location. A sculpture here. We're with a couple other geocachers. They're all on their way over to it. And with our first cache found, we all loaded up on the bus and headed for the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This amazing location is where you can actually stand in between the slowly separating North American and Eurasian tectonic plates of the Earth's crust. Insane geology. Of course, there's an Earth cache here as well, and hey, why not a quick cheesy tourist photo while we're here? Okay, back on the bus. Next stop, Gunnivar Mud Pools. So another one of these really cool earth caches, the geothermal activity going on behind us here. It's really super cool to see. Now, before we made our way to Reykjavik, capital city of Iceland, we made a brief stop along the Atlantic coastline where we were able to see the amazing power of the frigid Atlantic where it's collided with the volcanic chaos that's formed so much of Iceland. The result is this amazing, natural, stark beauty. Okay, next stop, Reykjavik. Our first traditional cache here in Reykjavik, the capital city of Iceland. Uh, this is a pretty famous one here and it's kind of cool. Let's check this out. That is pretty amazing. That is a aluminum container that is affixed into place with the lettering. And there's the cache right inside there. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, this city is amazing, and we love the easy walking to explore it from the waterfront to the colorful streets and the amazing statues depicting the history and culture. We also found some more cool caches hidden in cool locations like this old train. Here's a cool spot. After a full day of walking the city, we grabbed dinner with friends and then it was, everyone, back to the bus. We're headed to the Blue Lagoon. And of course, there's some friends and earth caches here. Hey guys, we are at the Blue Lagoon. We're just showing you what it looks like here. We're gonna go in, take a little dip, and uh, there's a couple of earth caches right around here. But just thought you might wanna check this out. We're gonna go for a dip with our friends. So we'll see you in just a few moments. Yeah, we got here with all our friends and after getting changed and rinsed, I headed into the lagoon to join them. Wow, that water is cloudy but warm. Nice on an eight Celsius evening at 9 p.m. And of course, when you're in the blue lagoon, you do blue lagoon things like uh, apply a mud mask to make you look a little younger. All right, so we got our mud. We're gonna put it on our face just like the ladies did here. Wow, that's really thick and sticky. Forehead. Forehead, all right. Just keep it out of the eyes. Keep it out of the eyes, yeah. nose. And don't eat it, was the other instruction I received. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's really good for the beer, so there you go. Gotta keep up with those other podcasters. <laughs> How do I look? Am I pretty yet? Did yes. it work? <laughs> Give it 10 more minutes. Okay. <laughs> And that wrapped up day one in Iceland. 
So hey, stay tuned for our next episode. We're going to explore further into Iceland and bring you more geocaching adventures.